You know, it, it's one of my favorite albums right now. I, it is consistent. It was meant to be that way. And uh, I, it took me five years to finish it. It took me that long because I worked with some of the best musicians in the world and I took my time because I wanted to create an album that would create an atmosphere for the listener that was, first of all, sensuous. I wanted it to be melodious. I wanted it to be rhythmic. At the same time, I wanted it to be sexy. And I also wanted it to last a long time. That's why there are 17 songs on this album. The album is not demanding. It does not demand your attention to enjoy it. It's, a, it's meant to be an album that you put on repeat and let it play. And it came out of a need. I made it for me. Because I've been trying to listen to albums, uh, I mean, uh, stations on, on, on the web that might, I would, might appreciate, and I could never find one. Because sometimes they'd be OK for five minutes, and then it would be something else, and something else, and something else. And then it would be another good piece, and then a bunch of not so good pieces falling. So out of desperation, I decided, here's what I want. I want this. When they, I want it precisely in this fashion. Um, and so it was, um, it works for me. I hope people enjoy it. Um, that's very difficult to pick. That, that I cannot say this track or that track or that track because that pigeonholes the album. And uh, my favorite tracks usually tend to be the ones that I'm working on at the time. Uh, once they all come together as one, the whole album becomes a track. There is a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it flows like a song. Oh, don't even ask about the technical aspect. <laughs> Uh, that is not an easy concert to do. Anytime you see me playing at the Acropolis, the, uh, Taj Mahal, the Forbidden City, the Pyramids, or any of that stuff, I assume it is uh, a year's worth of preparations and work of a lot of people. Um, the experience, though, was phenomenal. And it wasn't just the experience of performing there. It's the fact that the Egyptian people took us in they protected us, uh, they loved us, they showed us their love. We went into places where nobody's allowed to go. We went inside the pyramids, we went to the National Museums, we went to, I mean, we were inundated with our culture. And their culture is phenomenal. Of course, there's always a security challenge whenever you go to the Middle East. But I have been in the Middle East many, many times. After we left Egypt, we went to Sharjah. Not that there's any trouble with Sharjah, but you know, we've been in Bahrain, Oman, Qatar, um, Sarjah, Dubai, uh, you name it. Uh, Israel, Lebanon, Egypt, Tunisia. You know, anytime you're in this area, there is always a challenge. Especially uh, in Egypt, I was very, very well protected. They made sure we were very protected. I, right now, I don't know. The most amazing place I'm going to be playing next is the United States of America. It's North America, and that uh, includes 60 or so concerts. That's a long time, and I'm going to enjoy every one of them. Because nobody knows what New Age is. <laughs> what is New Age? It's like, it's like a guy in Los Angeles. I could see it right now. There, there are a bunch of people in Los Angeles in some small little room, executives from record companies, and they're all scratching their heads going, what do you want to do with this guy named Yanni? You know, he plays classical music, he plays jazz, he plays rock and roll, he plays this, he plays that, he's playing electronic music, he's doing this, he's doing that. What, what do we categorize him as? And I can see this one little guy in the back going, why don't we call him New Age? And everybody went, 
that sounds really good. There's one little problem about that. New age becomes old age very fast.